Will drinking soy milk cause uterine fibroids? We all know that uterine fibroids are common diseases in gynecology. The occurrence of uterine fibroids is related to our hormone levels. Many people are puzzled. Is there any relationship between our drinking soy milk and uterine fibroids? Let us first look at the cause of fibroids. In fact, the exact cause is not yet clear. Because fibroids tend to occur at reproductive age, they are rare before puberty and shrink or disappear after menopause, suggesting that their onset may be related to female sex hormones. In addition, studies have also confirmed that progesterone can promote mitosis and stimulate the growth of fibroids. What are the types of uterine fibroids? According to the location of fibroids growth, divided into uterine fibroids, 90% and cervical fibroids, 10%. According to the relationship between fibroids and uterine wall, they are divided into three categories. 1. Intramural fibroids, accounting for 60 to 70%. Fibroids are located between the uterine muscle walls and surrounded by myometrium. 2. Subserosal fibroids, accounting for about 2-0%. The fibroids grow toward the serosal surface of the uterus and protrude from the surface of the uterus. The surface of the fibroids is only covered by the serous membrane of the uterus. 3. Submucosal fibroids accounting for 1-0 to 1-5%. Fibroids grow in the direction of the uterine cavity, protruding from the uterine cavity, and the surface is only covered by the mucosal layer. Will drinking soy milk cause uterine fibroids? Factor uterine fibroids depend on hormones for growth, and there is no absolute contraindication in the daily diet. So some patients feel that soybeans containing hormones cannot be eaten. The answer is yes, you can eat. Will soy products increase estrogen levels? Soy products contain soy isoflavins, which belong to phytoestrogens and are similar in chemical structure and function to human estrogen. Estrogen can promote the proliferation of breast cells and endometrial cells. Estrogen has an effect on the growth and development of women and the prevention of many diseases. However, high levels of estrogen in the body do have the risk of causing breast cancer, breast hyperplasia, endometrial cancer, and uterine fibroids. However, we need to rest assured that the role of soy isoflavins is to weigh. Like human estrogen, soy isoflavins can also bind to estrogen receptors, but its activity is only equivalent to one one hundredth of human estrogen. One one thousandth. When the human body's estrogen level is insufficient, it can slightly make up for the lack of estrogen. On the other hand, when the level of estrogen in the body is high, the combination of soy isoflavins and estrogen receptors limits the normal combination of human estrogen and estrogen receptors to a certain extent. But on the whole, it reduces the effect of estrogen in the body. The Dietary Guidelines recommends eating 3-0 to 5-0 G soybeans a day which is a safe and reasonable intake. In general, if 5-0 G of dried beans are converted into soy products, it is about 2-0-0 G of tofu, which is about half a box of boxed tofu, or 8-0-0 milliliters, which is about 4 cups of soy milk. Therefore, the growth of uterine fibroids is a comprehensive manifestation of the imbalance of body and mind and is closely related to unhealthy lifestyles such as long-term adverse emotional stimulation, overload pressure, lack of exercise, and irregular work and rest.
even if you have uterine fibroids. Normal consumption of soy products will not cause excessive levels of estrogen in the body to stimulate the growth of uterine fibroids, let alone cause breast cancer and other diseases. Finally, Remind the majority of patients with uterine fibroids that some health products on the market artificially add a lot of hormones, which may cause endocrine imbalance. It is recommended not to eat. Eat regular meals. Have a balanced diet. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables to ensure protein intake. Adhere to proper exercise. Reasonable work and rest and maintain a happy mood are the greatest help for fibroids.